It's like a trigger. So you keep it like that. It kind of looks like a helicopter. Oh, hey! Hello. Didn't see you there. Hello, party people. It is Will Pimble. That's Lyle. Uh-huh. We're goofing around. We're about to... This is kind of an intro to an intro, Lyle. We've got a, we've got a LEGO Robotics, another of the LEGO Robotics videos coming up. But this is a special time and for two reasons. What's the first reason? We have hit 10,000 subscribers! Well, we've almost hit 10,000. Probably by the time you see this, we will have hit 10,000 subscribers. But as we are filming... Speak, we are at 9,967. 9,967, so 33 subscribers left. Very exciting until we hit the 10,000 mark, and I can't tell you how cool that feels. And we had an idea of how we can celebrate it. We decided to start our second channel, specifically my first channel. That's right. I Lyle's, have my own channel now. Lyle's got his a own. A lot of people wanted us to. I mean, we got a lot of comments yep. saying that we should do... My own channel. Greatly encouraged, and so we so we launched Lyle's channel the other day on August first. I want to say yes, August first. On August first, we launched Lyle's channel, and we got a lot of a lot of subscribers right at the right at the jump. I wanted to ask you guys to subscribe to Lyle's channel so that we can move that up as quick as we can, because Lyle's going to be doing all sorts of cool new content, different stuff than what I do. Click uh, on the blade to subscribe. It's hilarious. <laughs> nope, it got messed up. Here. So what this is supposed oh, to do... Let's make it a video game. Watch. Click <laughs> on the... Here. Spin it. Spin it. Spin it. Click on the blade to subscribe. See if you can click the blade. <laughs> that is so lame. Alright, so that's the thing. Click on Lyle or me to subscribe to Lyle's new channel. Click on Dad if you want to check out the channel and see like, oh, is this good? So maybe Should I sure. be investing my time in it? And no. then click on me if you're just like, I don't care. Boom, Lyle rocks, I want to be a subscriber. So, but subscribe to that and here is the latest in the LEGO Robotics series. Thank you for all of that. We will see you soon. Hello and welcome to Lego Robotics once again. Today we will be making a cannon. Not a camera, but a cannon. Like this type of cannon. Phew. This cannon shoots crumpled, well not crumpled specifically, but paper, money, that kind of stuff. Um, you can also um, fire these axles out, although we don't want to lose any, so we will be... Um, firing with paper and money. So, um, it is a very, very basic cannon, and part of the reasons that we are doing this in this episode is because in our comments video a few Wednesdays ago, not a few, quite a while ago, we filmed these pretty far in advance, considering my trip to Portugal, which at this point I just got back from last week. This week I'm at a summer camp. Anyway, so... I'm not here when this video will be posted, and somebody in the comments video said that we need to learn how to program, and this involves programming. You need to program this because there's no set program that will work with this. So this is a very, very basic robot, and I mean, when I say basic, I mean pretty, pretty basic. I mean, like, here are all the parts. What? Chow! Whoa! So, these are all the parts for this robot, this cannon. Not really a robot, more like a cannon. There are 30 parts. And fun fact, 30 is an even number. That is not a lot of parts, considering the fact that there are hundreds of parts in this bin. And 60 of those parts are just these little black pieces. So... It's insane how little parts are used in this robot. It is very basic, but it is a very fun robot. So step one, you take your two motors, you place them like that. Then you take your two axles. These should be, and the best way to go is to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven long. These should be seven long. You put your finger on the other side. 
and you stick this all the way through, through until you can't get it any farther, that means it's touched your finger, then you do the exact same thing with the wheel. You have to match it, and then you have to push it through. Then you do the same thing with the other side. So it goes all the way across, like that. Then you take two of these, you put them in one and two. Then you take this and you put it in so there's only two spaces left on each side. Now as you can see it's a little bit wobbly and the best way to help is to do the exact same thing on the other side. So you take two, you put one side in there and the other side in there and then you get it so it works. Over there, once you get it in, then you can straighten it out, and then you can go to the next step. You take these two pieces, you put one right there, and one, and six of these black pegs. You take one there, one there, one there, one there, one there and one there. Then you go like that and like that. Just like that. So there you already have your handle just like that. It's very easy and simple. The next step is you flip it upside down like that. You put one in right there and one connector in here. Then you fit this piece of framework so it's even more stable. It's like that. Then you have the trigger, your touch sensor. This trigger is the entire thing to go, and this is a very easy thing to do. So you take this, you put it in there. This is the same um, thing that we did on our first video with the ball bearing. And then um, you put that in right there. Then you put this in so it's facing that way. And then you go one. Two. So it fits in perfectly and it's right down the center. Now, looking at this, the hardest thing to do is to figure out how to hold it correctly. Well, I will show you. So you, first thing you, that you do is you take this and you put two fingers right there and two fingers right there and then you hold it like that and you press it with your palm just like this. So it is a very simple design and it's a fun thing to do. Now the last thing that you have to do is just to wire it up, which is very easy. You take the touch sensor and you wire it in to port one. And then you can turn it around so the wire doesn't get messed up with the wheels. Then you take one of the motors and you wire one of the motors. If you want to get really fancy, then just do the, um, actually, you know what? Wire the left motor into port C. and then wire the right motor into port B. And then after you do this, you can rest the brick on your arm like that, go like this, and then it's very easy to push the touch sensor with your thumb. 
So that is how you build the cannon. Now the last thing that you need to do to make your cannon is to program it. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the programming chamber.